Hey, what's going on guys out there in review land? My name is Chris and I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. This one is for the Tech 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 Golf GPS watch. The model is the ULT-G and I've actually reviewed already pretty much every rangefinder that they do have. I will try to link those videos as well with those links in the description box below. Great rangefinders. And I will also link this link for this GPS golf watch in the description box below. After the video is done, you guys can read more about it. Pick one up yourself. Tech 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 makes excellent products, so I'm expecting big things out of this. Real quickly, I wanna run a couple specs by you guys. It measures distances to green, hazards, and dog legs, 38,000 courses worldwide, and there's no paid subscription with this watch. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box and see what we got. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the watch. On top of the box, we are gonna have a user manual for English and French, and underneath my thumb right here is gonna be the serial number that is to create your free account, so I won't show that on the internet, so you can have access to the courses. And the watch here. Let's go ahead and get this guy on out of the packaging here, and on the bottom, we have our charger right here. We're gonna get to that in just a second here. And let's go ahead and undo this here. So this is your charging cable there. You can use obviously a cell phone wall adapter if you want. Plug that in. You could use your computer if you want as well. And then what that does is that latches onto your watch and the charging prongs would be right there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the watch right here. Let's go ahead and remove this guy here. And that's looking really great there. We have a Tech 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 logo right on the top, ULTG. You have your GPS. Looks like menu buttons scroll up and down here and here and here with push buttons on the side. That is a sweat resistant band right there with all of the holes for whatever size wrist you do have. Here are your charging prongs right on the back right here. This watch is Bluetooth as well and with your clasp right up top. Just to show you guys here, let's go ahead and put it on. I have pretty thin wrists. I'm a pretty lean guy and I probably would sit on that's four notches in, so you guys with thicker wrists definitely have a lot more room to get going there. And then just clasp it in, just like this here. And even if that is a little snug, I would maybe go one more, but that feels pretty good right there. Again, I'm about 155 pounds, very lean. So you guys that are a little bit larger in weight would definitely have a lot more room there, like I just mentioned. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and look through the manual, see if we do need to fully charge it before we get going. Per the instructions, it shows you how to set up your account there. And again, you will have to put in your device's serial number, verify your password, your information there to join. You can do guest access as well, but you will have to put in your serial number on your watch, which again is located on the front portion of the instruction manual. Here are the abbreviations that they're gonna use on the watch and it's listed in the instruction manual there. So you might have to take this with you for a few times, a few rounds before you do memorize these. So the watch would say, let's just say FGB, it's gonna be front green bunker. So you guys can pause this and kind of read about that. It does say after the battery is fully charged, it should last 10 hours or approximately 2.5 rounds. It depends how slow your rounds are, but will last about 10 hours. Of course, you can change the time on it as well, and you can change the language. They do have English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. You can adjust the sound, setting alarms. So let's go ahead and turn on the watch here. You hold the down button for a couple seconds there and the watch will turn on. It does look like my battery does need to be charged before I do use it. They say if it does drop one bar to go ahead and charge it. So right here, it has Monday, 818, September 21st. The date and day are right, but I do need to reset the time to my local Pacific Standard Time. You do have a blue indigo light, which lights up for about three seconds, maybe four seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, about three seconds there. Looks like both of these buttons do the same exact thing. If I push that one in, the light lights up as well. If I push that one, it lights up as well. If I hold the down one down for five seconds, it would power off, it would beep and then power off. GPS right here, it says searching. And if I hit this one here, it goes to menu. We have Bluetooth, we have alarm, battery, settings. Let's go ahead and hit settings, which would be this one, the middle one. There's time. Uh, okay, cool, units. Let's go ahead and hit this just in case here. So set time. Daylight, format, so it looks like they also give you 12 hour, 24 hour, which is really nice. I believe we probably hit this one to go back, yep. Let's go up to daylight, Let's see what daylight means. Yeah, so that's off and on for daylight savings time, that's cool. Let's go ahead and go back. 
set time, format, you guys already know about set time by GPS manually. We'll go ahead and go back to units. A lot of you guys definitely want this, yards and meters, very nice. So you can do it in both yards and meters. There's language, I already told you about the different languages, Spanish, German, English, French, Italian. Let's go back to sound. Click on that, sounds on or off, so you wouldn't hear that little beeping. And about, let's see what that's about there. There's your version, 3.0. Let's go back and reset. You would hit that to reset it. Let's see what battery is. Okay, there's your battery level percentage right there. And let's go up to alarm real quickly. There's your alarm there. And let's check out Bluetooth on or off there as well. So I'm out here at nighttime, but it's gonna be an easy way to test this without people being on the course. Now, right next to me, I'm actually on the Frisbee Disc Golf Course, but right over here is El Dorado Golf Course right here, and the flag stick, you can't see it, but it's literally probably 20 yards in front of me right here. So I hit the GPS button top left, and after it beeped, after it searched for, it searched for a good solid maybe 30 seconds or so, and then I have El Dorado Hartwell Skylinks. These are all courses within my GPS area. Let's go ahead and connect with El Dorado. And as we see here, pin number one, now it probably thinks that I'm just starting. That's why pin number one is going all the way, uh, probably way back there. It's a par four, and obviously that is not the yardage, but it is going off of pin one. But as I scroll down with the menu buttons, now we are on the fourth hole, which is gonna be the hole right on the other side of this fence right here. And again, forgive me that it is dark outside, but it's just a lot easier because this park is open 24 hours here on the Frisbee Disc Golf side and it's just easier for talking and demonstrating this here. So we see it's a par five. I'm 56 yards away, so I was a little bit off there, from the fourth pin. And let's try to go up to the fence line a little bit more and let's take a little look-see here. There we go, we can see that a little bit better. Right over here is the flag stick right there and right here is the sand trap as we can see right there. Now I am 42 yards to the pin very cool and then let's say we went up to the flag number five we are looking at 280 281 it's a par four so once it latches onto the golf course it's really cool being able to see the yardages the pars and what hole you're on that's absolutely fantastic so as i'm walking away from it let's go ahead and test it here the flag stick is right over my right shoulder and we'll go ahead and start walking here 62 yards, 63, 64, 3, 4, 65. I'm kind of paralleling it a little bit, but I'm walking kind of at an angle here. 69, 70, that's awesome. Very highly calculated there. Now when I hit the middle button, look at this. This is really where it gets really cool. It says hazards. It goes back to the screen after a couple seconds there, but left fairway bunker, left fairway bunker 221 and that goes off of the same hole as now I'm pulled back quite a bit of ways, but that is really nice to be able to hit that middle button and seeing the hazards. Let's go ahead and scroll down and see if there's more hazards. So it looks like even if I scroll down, it's only showing these two hazards, but that's really, really cool. So I'm actually back home now, but I do wanna show you, I hit the GPS search bar once again, and all the courses near my neighborhood popped up. Now, obviously I am quite a bit away from the golf course. And so obviously the yardages will be completely off, but I can still see that it's hole one, par four, and then it does blink off like that because I am a little bit of ways, but obviously it's only three digits maximum. So that obviously means that I'm over a thousand yards away. Let's go ahead and look at this. LGB hazard is 999. Let's go see what LGB is. And that would be left green bunker. Our abbreviations that we've already seen, but you might wanna take this instruction manual with you during the first couple uses while you still are memorizing these abbreviations. Now also something we haven't talked about is tracking your shot. Track the shot distance, measuring your shot between two points. You once again, after you hit the satellite button and you're locked onto the course, then you would hit it again. It would pick up point A as you walk to point B and it will show you shot and then your distance in yards 
or meters, it depends on what you've set it for. That is excellent. Now, something I would like to see Tech 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 expand into would be also the Frisbee disc golf courses as well. That sport is becoming very popular, and I'd love to see them update their app with Frisbee disc golf courses as well, being able to see your throws in meters or yards or feet as well, because typically we go off of feet in Frisbee disc golf, but overall enjoying the watch. Well, let's go ahead and show you the tracking shot distance counter. So after you have locked on to your golf course and you're playing, go ahead and hit that button one more time. And as you can see here, shot zero distance. And as I start walking, it will go ahead and count in whatever units you do have it in. I am in yards. And so we are skipping a few numbers as I'm kind of pacing here, six, seven, and we should end up right around eight, nine, eight, nine or so right here. When you've calculated that, logged it in, go ahead and just hit that button one more time. You'll get right back to your main screen there. Well guys, overall a really sweet golf GPS watch. They have done a great job. Also check out their range finders in the description box right below the video. You're going to find the link for this exact same golf GPS watch and their other range finders. Hit that thumbs up button if it has given you an informed decision. But just like all my videos guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do review. But if you do have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on on away. Also subscribe on your way out and I'll see you guys on the next video. My name's Chris. Take care for now. Bye bye. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.